Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. Okay, just got off the bus. Got the bus um, to Newport from Cowles. And then from Newport to, I'm not too sure what this place is called. It's not got a name there, is it? It's Village of the Year, South Winner 2005. Okay, so it's called Charl Green Stores. Charl Green, I guess. That's the name of the village. Green. Okay folks, we just got off at the village, just been to the village store and I'm heading towards, I guess, uh, Black Gang. To celebrate 40 years and many lovely island walks, Angela and Jim, April 2016. George and Sylvia, blue skies, 2016, walking together forever. Now folks, I don't know if they still do this, but if you wanna leave, have a message like this on a gate, uh, here's the details for you for the Isle of Wight. I mean obviously Isle of Wight's going to be walking through farmland uh, there's some downland as well but it's beautiful it's quite nice. Once of Valley Farm John Vera Salter 1924 to 2016 a lifetime rambler. How cool are those seats? This is this part's really nice it's going for a little woodland sort of walk how cool is that? To be honest, this time of year you could probably camp here and get away with it. This path looks like it's well used though. 
surprisingly really nice up here quite hilly more hilly than i thought it would be can't remember what this is called walking up here but it's like a cleft in the land and geology the geology of it to me looks the most interesting on the island and it's probably got the most holy spot on the island where the ancient lighthouse is which is supposed to be a chapel as well and there's an ancient burial mound but well, they call them burial mounds but no one really knows what they were for but uh the geology of it's very interesting so yeah i'm gonna um have my um spring equinox there tonight or tomorrow wherever it is a lot of interesting bumps in the land here on the way up as well i know there's a lot of archaeology along this bit pretty sure there is look at that wonder what lives in there harry what do you reckon Yeah, unfortunately it's very misty, low cloud at the moment, sea cloud probably. But the view over there would be amazing if you could see it. This uh, mound at the top is really interesting because it's at the head of the um, geological uh, cleft going right down towards the sea. On the Isle of Wight, like I said, it's the most interesting bit I could see geolo uh, geology wise. So here is where I've got to go up, I believe. You could definitely wild camp up somewhere up here by the looks of it. It looks pretty much out of the way so far. As you can see, probably a little bit pointless uh, doing the droning at the moment. I might, I might do. Nah, it's pointless, isn't it? <laughs> of the visit of his imperial majesty Alexander the first emperor of all the Russians Russia's to Great Britain in the year 1814 in remembrance of many happy years residence in his whatever interesting do you see it there it is it's a uh, grouse isn't it Sorry for disturbing your rest there. Normally they fly off really quickly when you walk by them. Give you a bit of a fright. Looks like a good place to camp here with that monument because the grass is overgrown. There's no cow shit or any other shit. So there hasn't been any cattle in here for some time. I can see some maybe, but it's old. So at the moment, might be... Actually, that was mud. Doesn't look like there's any cattle in this field at all. Is it the downs? I'm guessing it'd be all right to camp up here. I don't think it's farmland. Okay, folks, just below the monument, there is actually some houses or houses or a house, a house. So, so in the end, I've decided I'm not going to camp up here. It's too early anyway. And like I said, there's either a house or some houses or a farm just down there. Couldn't see it before because of the mist just at this sign now.
Okay folks, I've got the Hexi stave on the go and I'm going to try one of these um, Summit to Eat chicken tikka with rice uh, dehydrated meals you unseal it and reseal it with the hot water in um, tried uh, two before I think and they were both really nice I was really impressed with them so um, I'm sure this will I'm, actually I think I might have had the chicken tikka but anyway, I'll give my thoughts on it after I've had it as well, this time. Um, just waiting for the water to boil. Okay, well folks, I've actually got um, five of these meals, no, four, sorry, four of these meals to try out on this uh, trip to Isle of Wight. So I've got the vegetable um, chipolate chili with rice, chicken tikka with rice, scrambled egg with cheese and beef stew potato. And um, as you know, I'm going to have the chicken tikka with rice. I'm just waiting for the water to boil. Just about to put another hexi cube on because it's quite windy at the moment. Okay, okay so they're starting to boil. I'm going to open this up to put the uh, water in. Yeah, it's boiling. Okay, folks, so that's opened up now. I'm just going to tip the water in. Okay, so folks, the water is in, and I'm just going to reseal it. Okay, folks, well, I've just resealed that, and I'm just going to leave it for a while, and it'll be ready to eat. Um, I am starving. <laughs> I have to say, that smells really good, and it's ready to eat now. It really does smell, smell like a proper chicken tikka. Ah, oh, <laughs> smells great. Guys, that was incredibly nice really nice now these are not cheap sometimes you can get a deal like um, money off if you can afford them or you can get money off they're really worth having it's a massive meal um, for how heavy it is um, although I kind of defeated the, the point today because I carried the water for it because I'm on the Isle of Wight and there's no really usable water on this island really for doing this um, I certainly wouldn't rely on a filter because filters don't uh, get rid of chemicals or anything like that only like the um, parasites um, so um, yeah I use bottled water but yeah very nice highly recommended um, if I any any offers, I'll be getting more of these. I'll put a link in the description. Appreciate your time in watching my videos. I've got lots of interesting information in the video description. I've also got information on how you can save a lot of money on public transport in the UK. Do please come and join me on my next adventure. Take care folks.